being a speech-language pathologist is a great career. I train doctoral students in audiology from different universities, and it's always uh, rewarding to not only to train them, but to learn from them. Being an audiologist is fun, rewarding, and I love that speech-language pathology uh, was a very diverse field and a uh, financially stable field. And speech-language pathology is very important because everyone has a right or a need to communicate. I'm inspired to know that I'm making a difference. I'm inspired to see the growth that my students are making. Whether your interest is working with kids or adults in a school or a hospital setting or a private practice, there's really something for everyone. Getting to see the children grow and uh, being able to see how their language is developing from infancy when they first come in to when they leave in the third grade, um, they're just uh, chatting away and most of these parents maybe didn't even think that that was possible. So when you get to have a conversation with a child who was born deaf, um, that's just amazing and it's so rewarding to know that I'm part of that process. My name is Julie martinez Verhoff, and I am the Director of Audiology at the River School in Washington, D.C. As a mentor, I train uh, doctoral students in audiology. Currently, we have a doctoral student named Jennifer who is really great. She was diagnosed with a hearing loss when she was five years old. The students love when they come into the clinic and they see Jennifer and they see her hearing aid and they'll be like, you wear a hearing aid, so do I. You ready? It's gonna be on your left side. It's so rewarding to see the children here is once they get to the final grade, to that third grade, and they leave and they're mainstreamed, that's amazing that they can go to the library and get a book by themselves, that they can pick up the telephone and talk to their friends, and these children can do that. They can sing, they can play the violin. These are all exciting things, and, um, and audiologists are a part of that. My job is really rewarding. I work in a rehabilitation hospital where patients are seeing improvements after an injury, and it's great to get to build a relationship with them over the weeks where they're starting to see some improvement after what's been a really hard time for them. I'm Mackenzie Fama, and I'm a clinical speech language pathologist at MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital. I'm on the stroke team, so I work primarily with patients who've suffered a stroke, but I also have the opportunity to see patients on other teams, such as traumatic brain injury, spinal cord injury, or cardiac rehabilitation. Now I'm going to have you looking at this screen over A here. typical day for me is pretty unpredictable. My sessions are either 30 minutes or an hour, so I may work with someone on their speech, someone with a swallowing disorder, someone with cognitive impairments, and then someone with a language disorder. I get to work very closely with occupational therapists, physical therapists, nurses, case managers, and physicians. We are constantly collaborating to make sure that we're giving our patients the best care possible. I've recently taken the opportunity to become involved in a research study that's looking at improving rehabilitation techniques for stroke patients, the same type of patients that I work with every day in my job. Getting involved in this study has inspired me to return for the PhD so that I can become more involved in research in my future career. I would recommend the field of speech-language pathology to anyone who's considering entering it. It pulls from a variety of backgrounds and it's so diverse that really you can do a lot of different types of things within the field, whether your interest is working with kids or adults in a school or a hospital setting or a private practice, there's really something for everyone. Uh, there's a lot of job security and I think that there's a lot of opportunity for changing within your career throughout your lifetime. I chose to work with young children because throughout my career I've worked with birth through elderly, but it's the younger population, the infants and toddlers, where I get more joy because it's the developmental stages and I'm making an impact that will last throughout their lives. I'm Charles Coward, a speech-language pathologist and manager of Connections Therapy Center. I'm a speech-language pathologist because I love working with children. I love seeing children grow and change, and speech-language pathology is very important because everyone has a right or a need to communicate. Donovan is a wonderful little boy with a bubbly personality, and inside of him, there is the ability to communicate more consistently, and I'm just trying to find out which door I have to unlock in order to open so that he can communicate effectively and efficiently every day. In Donovan's session today, since he's a nonverbal child, we're working on getting him to consistently use the sign for please and teaching him the sign for apple. Now let's go for apple. 
good. To see where he came from and what he's doing now and what he has the potential to do is just remarkable. In the future, I can see myself working in theater or film, um, teaching actors ways to improve their articulation. And with more training, I can also be a dialect coach to teach the dialects for character development. This is not a math test, but just go ahead. The beginning part is... Being an audiologist is fun, rewarding. It's challenging. If you like problem solving, if you like working with people, it's an excellent place to be. My name is Shizuko Tamaki. I'm an audiologist of Professional Hearing Services in Falls Church, Virginia. On a normal day, I may be seeing a four-week-old baby doing a hearing screening on them or diagnostic testing on them. I could be uh, seeing a 99-year-old coming in for a hearing test and hearing aids. That causes me great discomfort. This patient is coming in for uh, dizziness and balance evaluation. Uh, so we're going to be doing a hearing test and then we're going to be doing what we call video nystagmography or VNG. It's got infrared cameras in. So I always try to um, explain what's going to happen, what goes on, because that also eases their, their tension and also they feel more comfortable with what they're going through. Eyes wide open for me. We're going to be looking at her eye movements as we put her head into different positions. And we're also going to be looking at her eye movements when we artificially stimulate her inner ear balance organs. Can you hear my voice okay? In about five years, I probably want to ramp up my career to either a different direction or just at an advanced level. But I don't feel like I'm limited because there are so many other opportunities in um, audiology. I could be doing um, more research. I could be teaching full time. I could be a director of some um, audiology clinic. There's so many opportunities there. So going back to evidence. I teach graduate and undergraduate students in speech language pathology, specifically clinical practicum courses. And the courses really are teaching students how to apply the theory that they've learned into the practice when they're working with their actual clients. I'm Martine Ellie, and I'm the clinic director at the Howard University Speech and Hearing Clinic. The younger grades... I decided to become an SLP because I always wanted to do something that would make a difference in people's lives. There's not one typical day, it really varies. I can do things such as teach classes in a day, supervise students that are working with clients, do community outreach, give different challenges, different opportunities, different things to do. And so that really makes the job more interesting. For the last two years, we've gone to Haiti during spring break, and we've provided a number of different services. We have done hearing screenings, dental screenings, and a number of different healthcare initiatives within the community. ASHA is a vital part of everything that I do in my professional life, from certification to professional development, to policy statements, to advocacy, not only for the profession, but also the clients that we serve. I'm passionate about the field of speech language pathology and so teaching it just allows me to do something that I really like to do. I'm teaching a skill about something that I am passionate about. The thing that's most rewarding about being a speech language pathologist is getting to work with the adolescents that I see every day. To be challenged by them, to be inspired by them, and to help them learn to be successful. I'm James Brinton. I'm a speech-language pathologist at the Catherine Thomas High School in Rockville, Maryland. I'll read it. I want you to follow along. And I chose to work with high schoolers with moderate to severe learning disabilities because I realize it's very important for them to have the skills to transition out of high school into adulthood. I work with a social worker for each student. I also work with an occupational therapist and a school psychologist. We come together to collaborate on the goals that the students have. The American Speech Language Hearing Association supports me in two ways. They provide scholarly articles for me to read as I research about my clients. And they also keep me connected to other professionals in my field in different settings, such as a hospital or a clinic. This is what we did before for open mouth, so... With the experience that I've gained here, I hope to get a strong clinical foundation and either someday open up my own speech practice or return to a university to teach and supervise clinically.
I love working with the students. They challenge me and inspire me every day. I love the support staff and the school, and I think being a speech-language pathologist is a great career. At the end of a workday, I definitely feel like I've worked hard. I have a sense of fulfillment knowing that I've improved students' lives, and I look forward to the next day. I became an SLP because I knew that there was diversity in this field, and I knew that I would have the opportunity to help people communicate. Eight years now in this profession, I wouldn't have it any other way. My name is Dave Trina Celeste Gatson, and I am a speech language pathologist. One thing that I really enjoy about my day is that it's definitely not routine. You'll say them and then I'll repeat them after you from working with patients with voice disorders to neurological disabilities and speech to swallowing. Sometimes it might include community outings um, or working with other therapists to make sure that we're treating the entire patient. One of the most exciting experiences that I've had is working as a travel SLP. I've lived in Chicago, I've lived in Dallas. so. Just having that opportunity as well as building my career is something that this field has afforded me. My patients inspire me. They have a magnificent ability to be resilient. So Tajay is a 19-year-old uh, college student who had a brain tumor. One thing that prompted this type of outing is that Tajay expressed that she likes to eat out a lot and but friends and family were ordering for her because of her fear of not being understood. Um, so today was a perfect opportunity to take her out, have her order for herself and build that confidence that she is intelligible and people understand her. Knowing that Tajay is so close to uh, returning to college and the community is such a rewarding feeling that it's, it's hard to put in words. She is an amazing person and to have met her at this junction of her life is, I think, more beneficial to me than her. Yeah.